In this tutorial, we'll be covering the stoichiometry of enthalpy reactions. Um, so in the previous tutorial, we, we found that, a very brief background here, in the previous tutorial, we found that the enthalpy of a reaction, or the way we say, say this is the enthalpy of a reaction, or the, the way the terminology, like the, the proper verbiage you would use, is you would say the heat of a reaction and it's denoted by this symbol delta H the heat of a reaction is equal to Q at constant pressure um, and so you'll see a chemical reaction and then you'll see this symbol written after the chemical reaction um, and so this is saying the uh, the heat of the reaction so when uh, um, when this is positive, when delta H is positive, it means that that reaction is endothermic and it requires heat for it to happen. And you could think of you could think of heat, think of heat as a reactant. Okay, and um, if you see a negative value for enthalpy, it means that that reaction is exothermic and it gives off heat, that that particular reaction gives off heat. And uh, you could think of, uh, you know, just like you think of endothermic as heat as a reactant, for exothermic you could think of heat as a product. Okay, so the enthalpy or heat of a reaction that's shown in a problem uh, is proportional to the moles of reactants and products. This is nothing new. It's just stoichiometry, in other words. Um, another, I'll, I'll, we'll get to another important point on units and how you solve this. So, for example, if you have the following reaction, four moles of iron, solid iron, plus three moles of oxygen gas. Uh, usually, you know, when you see oxygen as one of the reactants, it's something's being burned is usually what's happening. Um, and then this produces two moles of iron oxide. And you'll see this number after it um, delta H equals negative 1,652 kilojoules. Um, <clears throat> so this is actually the uh, yeah, so let's let's go over uh, what th what this means. So since the sign for delta H is negative, that means this reaction gives off heat. Um, and so what this means is for every four moles, so for every four moles of iron, it creates this much heat. So for every four moles that you have, so what that means is if you add eight moles of this, it will it would double the amount of heat produced. Okay, so if you burned twice as much iron, it would produce twice as much heat. Okay, twice as much as this value. Um, so these are just ratios that I'm describing. Um, and then what it also means is for every three moles of oxygen, it will produce this much heat. So if you had six moles of oxygen, it would make, uh, you know, over 30, around 3,300 3, uh, kilojoules of heat. Okay, and then likewise, if you halved this, so if you had one and a half, it would make half of this. Is these are, again, these are just ratios I'm describing. For every two moles of iron oxide produced, it will create that much heat as well. So, um, so hopefully you noticed the units that you'd be using if you had a problem like this using this reaction. Um, the units for delta H are um, are per mole of whatever you see here. Okay, so uh, this 1,652 kilojoules is per four moles of Fe. Okay, this 1,652 kilojoules is also per three moles of O2. Okay, and likewise, it's per mole, per two moles of iron oxide. So, okay, and these are some of the ratio examples I was saying. All right, so let's try a problem using this reaction. So how much heat is given off if 5 grams of oxygen reacts? So let me rewrite my balanced chemical reaction. Uh, 
and delta H was negative 1,652 kilojoules. So if I have 5 grams of oxygen, um, how much heat is given off? So my final units, heat, this is my unknown. This is my, uh, my uh, we'll call it our desired uh, answer. So heat is, is our answer. We want it to be in kilojoules. And remember, this is not just kilojoules. This is kilojoules per amounts shown here. So we have um, to use some unit analysis to solve this problem. Okay, so we're, we're going to change this to moles first. So in uh, one mole of O2, there are 32.00 grams of O2. And uh, 1,652 kilojoules over... So this is how much heat is produced per three moles. So this is the uh, stoichiometric equivalent here. So I'm going to use that as my conversion factor. Okay, and grams of O2 cancel, grams of O2 cancel, moles of O2 cancel, and moles of O2 cancel. So notice how the units result in what we're looking for is uh, kilojoules of heat. So I type this in my calculator, and I should have three sig figs because of the measurement at the beginning. So negative 86.0 kilojoules. Um, and just to repeat one more time that this is our this is like kind of like the what the whole tutorial is about is this conversion step is our ratio from the balanced uh equation chemical equation okay and so i have one problem for you guys to try so try this one um, notice a couple things here to notice is that this is positive meaning that this reaction requires this much heat for this for this to go this way you need this much heat okay for uh, one mole of n2 to react with two moles of o2 and make uh um two moles of uh, nitrogen dioxide um so in, in in problem a we're going from mass of one of the reactants to how much heat is and notice this says required because you could think of this as uh, as being a reactant because it's endothermic. So this process requires this much heat. Okay, so uh, so your final unit then, answer should be in kilojoules here. And notice in B, I switched it around a little bit. And I said, if you have this much heat supplied to it, how much NO2, how much product would uh, would be produced? So your final answer should be in grams in part B.